The TMUE is two months away today. This is what they call in football squeaky bum time. The final push, the last two months. What should you do in this short amount of time to give you the best possible chance of scoring amazingly on the TMUA. So this is student, This is advice to students who have already started their preparation for the TMUA, which you probably should have, but if you haven't, not the end of the world. Um, and all, But also students who are like completely fresh to the TMUA who've just recently found out about it and they need to do it because they're looking to study maybe maths at university or maybe computer science, maybe economics. Anyway, my name's Jamie and I studied maths at Oxford. I did both the MAT and the TMUA uh, and obviously then the interviews for Oxford went on to study there. And now I help students across the globe who are looking to study maths and similar subjects at uh, top universities in the UK, in particular Oxford and Cambridge. Over 80% of the students I work with end up receiving offers. So if you're interested, link in the description below. Anyway, that's all the marketing stuff done. Um, what is my tip? What, what should you be doing in these two months between now and the MAT, uh, the TMUA, sorry, uh, in mid-October? Firstly, and this again kind of depends on what, what level of experience you have, is just start looking at past papers. Loads of people will leave the past papers till um, the end, uh, till close to the time, which I think is a good thing to do, but you're now getting to that point where it is closer to the time. So what I would say is that with the TMUA, leave maybe the last year's paper, if you really don't, if you really want to leave one till the week before, two weeks before, um, I would say leave 2023, but do all the others, make sure you've done all the others. Uh, I'd probably say start from the earliest and work towards the latest. So start with the specimen papers and the 2016 practice paper and 2017 and so on. Um, and, you know, give your, don't just do them back to back and, uh, and really do try and sit down and do them and do them under time conditions now. So, um, Maybe, you know, if you're, if it's the first time you've seen the TMUA, well, maybe don't, but if you're already in a position where you've been doing lots of practice, seen lots of these problems before, maybe you've already done like the 2016 paper a couple months back, uh, do it again. You can always recycle the papers, like that's something I encourage. Do it again. Um, but yeah, start from the earliest ones and start to do them under time conditions. Because up until now, I normally say, you know, don't worry about timing. And that's normally what I say when, I, when you start off. I don't worry about how long it takes you to solve a problem. But now is the time where you want to start right focusing on things like exam technique, refining your your technique to try and score as many marks as possible. And in order to do that, you need to know how long you're spending on these problems. So give yourself that environment where you're pressured to do it under time. Um, okay, cool. What else? So you may or may not be doing the MAT uh, as well. If you aren't doing the MAT, then use all the MAT past papers. Um, go from, again, from the earliest ones so you can find, not on the official Oxford University website, but you can easily find the MAT papers from, I think, like 1996 all the way until, well, last year. Um, so, again, start, I'd say start from the earliest ones. The, the ones before 2007 had a slightly different syllabus, so just bear that in mind. Um, but from 2007 onwards, um, the, C uh, the MAT has basically the same syllabus as it does now, it's a couple of slight tweaks, um, but broadly speaking it is, is exactly the same. Start from the early ones, go to the later ones and just start doing them. Like, if you haven't done that already, just start doing them. And if you really want to leave a, a past paper for the MAT, I'd say leave the 2023 paper um, because at 2024 they haven't actually released the whole paper. So I'd say leave the 2023 paper and do everything before that. Same with the TMUA. So that would be like probably the biggest piece of advice I could give you at this point in time. Make a plan. So you've got two months. You know when your availability is. You know, obviously you might be on summer holidays at the moment, but once school starts again, you might be a bit busier. Work out a little schedule, a rough idea of, okay, cool, I've got eight past papers to do, eight weeks. You do the maths, one a week. Uh, you could do it that way. But what you don't want to fall into the trap of, fall into the trap of is just doing that. That's just a thing that you should be doing, past papers. Uh, what else could you be doing to prepare between now and then. So one of the things I think is also really, really useful uh, for um, preparation. Also, by the way, for the MAT advice I gave, don't sleep on questions six and seven on the MAT. So the old form MAT, where you've got these comp uh, questions designed for computer science students, a lot of those can be super useful for students uh, looking to prepare the, for the P TMUA and looking to kind of look at uh, logic and reasoning problems for uh, paper two. So I highly recommend looking at the questions sixes and sevens as well. Anyway, um, what else can you be doing between now and um, the actual TNUA? Well, one thing I would highly recommend is going through literally, just literally take your textbook and go through every instance of a new formula or new theorem that's written down. And it could be as simple as Pythagoras' theorem, like, you know, and by simple I mean one that you've known for ages, or it could be one that you've just maybe learned this year in school, so a binomial theorem or something. And write down proofs for each of them. Uh, try and do it off memory. If you don't know the proof, well, go and learn the proof. Go and make sure you understand why it works, understand all the underlying content, 
And what I would even go so far as to say is then go and make like a, a recording of yourself um, explaining that theorem or explaining where that formula or that, that you know, property or whatever comes from. Because um, that will actually force to test you if you can, if you do truly understand the content. That's uh, a moral I live by. If you can't explain something, you don't understand it well enough. If you, you know, that, that's kind of why I make these math videos, because uh, I, I truly understand the content. I can, I'm, I'm at the position where I can explain the mathematics behind it. So do the exact same thing. Go and learn the binomial theorem, and then learn the proof for it, and then go, okay, well, explain it. So imagine you're trying to teach it to someone who's just about to do A-level maths or whatever. Um, so that, that's something I'd highly recommend, is really ensuring you know in and out why every single proof is. And in the textbook, they'll normally just give you one proof. A lot of these theorems will have multiple proofs. So, for example, the binomial theorem, um, you can kind of prove either via the definition of kind of expanding brackets or by induction. Um, maybe there's some other way of doing it. Um, things like that. So, so go in, try and learn multiple ways of um, solving or proving things uh, if there are others as well. I think that will make you a better problem solver and allow you to find different connections within mathematics. Those are probably the two biggest things that I would say you should be doing between now and um, October. Obviously, if you haven't started your pre preparation from TMUA, you've got a lot of um, you've got a lot of uh, get ground to cover because lots of students would have already spent the last month, two months, six months even preparing for the TMUA. So, um, if you are looking to get a strong score in the TMUA, you need to really, really hit the ground now, uh, running, sprinting uh, to cross the finish line in time. Anyway, I'll leave this video here. I didn't want to go into too much depth. Those are just my two main pieces of advice for what you can do over the next couple of months to prepare for the TMUA. If you are someone who is looking to score an extremely high score, so grade 9 in the TMUA and 19, 95 plus in the MAT, and ideally get an Oxbridge offer at the, outer, at, the, at the end of it, do get in touch. Over 80% of the students I work with end up receiving Oxbridge offers. Link is in the description below. You can book a free call with me or I can give you some advice and see if I can help you on your way to an amazing Oxbridge offer. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll leave another video on the screen where I solve a TMUA problem or a TMUA style problem. In fact, this comes from a bank of problems that I use with my students, which aren't from past papers, but they could very well have been in the past paper. Uh, I'll see you over there.